Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Tommy Rat's New York Hardcore Stories. Uh, we're trying to ha had some trouble yesterday trying to do a lot to do a recorded video, and then I just try to do a live right now, but the software is acting up. So I figure I just record it and just go straight through and just you know act like it's live. This way, you know, you can all hold my feet to the fire when I when I fuck up here. All right, okay. All right, well, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. And I just recently had a birthday. And I'm, I'm the big 6-0. 6-0, yeah, what you know? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you... Yeah. 60, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck you doing with this shit? I gotta remember. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Alright, here we go. Yeah, I saved my candles. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, this week, I want to talk about... SSD Control's first show in New York City at the A7 Club in 1981. Yeah, and uh, that was a pretty eventful evening. I forget what the date it was. I think it was uh, I think it was sometime in either November or December of of 1981. Mm, if I can find the exact date, I'll I'll post it somewhere in the comments. Anyway, you know, I mean, they're more referred to as SSD now, but back then, you know, we called them SSD control. I remember, like, before the show happened, you know, talking to some of my friends, it's like saying, yo, this band from Boston's coming down, coming down to New York to play. Back then, you know, most of us were, like, more like, like punk rockers, and then, you know, some of us were starting to go between punk and hardcore, trying at that time i think we we're more closer to punk than the hardcore at that time you know which other other cities you know gave a shit for our lack of evolving that quickly no but whatever <laughs> but it's all meaningless now you know i couldn't give a shit about any of that stuff i never had no problem with anybody from any other scene so never did Anyway, I remember that the mob was going around bringing bands from other cities to play A7. Uh, Jack Flanagan, namely, was like very instrumental in that aspect. On the show, it was Kraut. Uh, who else played? I think The Influence played and The Mob. Maybe in Misguided, or they probably played one of the later shows. I don't remember if they played or not. No, I think they came later. I think they played a later show. Yeah. I could be wrong about that too. I remember, you know, I remember, you know, when this SSD control played, you know, they brought a bunch of people from Boston with them, skinheads. Basically, a lot of the other scenes were more going leaning towards the skinhead, skinhead look, like in LA, DC, Boston, and other cities. I think even Philadelphia too. I'm not sure. So you had Springer, who was like, who I thought was a nut as a singer, like, and and you had Al Al on guitar, Jamie on bass, and uh, I believe Chris on drums. They were four piece at the time, and at the time they played every song that was off of their "Kids Will Have Their Say" EP before, before that was even released. Now, now that was a fun show. There was no no shit went on that night. It was cool. I remember that uh, Al did an S did an interview with uh, Schism Fanzine, this fanzine that uh, Purcell and Alex Brown put out back in the mid eighties. And and like they were asking him about that show that they did about that show, and uh, you know, he he said that there were that everybody in that place was a junkie. Well, I will go on record saying that not everybody was a junkie, but there were junkies that were there that night. <laughs> there were. 
I will say that. And then we're pretty much all hanging out like, like where these, uh, all like, you know, hanging out where all these cushy areas were. I remember A7 had like these, uh, I don't know, something like a couch uh, that was like there, like we walk in the stage area along the wall, but going towards where, uh, the, the supply room was, there was like, I'm not, some supply room that they had over there towards the right of the stage. But then again, you know, you never know who was like into what, like uh, as years went on, you know, strange as it is, even like, uh, you know, no matter like, you know, what you hear about this person ODing on a specific drug or that person, you know, taking, you know, that person getting, you know, knowing the, con knowing the consequences and still people uh, mess around with that, mess around with that type of stuff. I never got into it. Never liked it. I just didn't, didn't even like hanging around with people who who did anything like that either, knowing what they were getting into. I remember the second time SSD played, they brought their crew with them again. I think some of the same bands played the second show. I think this guy might have been on that second show. And, and I remember, I'm just going to... That was a good show too, and I re and I remember that somebody, some kid from Boston, got on the mic, and, and the, during the influencer set, screaming, "New York sucks!" Like you know, like what they did with when Fear played Saturday Night Live, on a, on Halloween, like a like a like a few months earlier, and Rerun, who was a singer of the Influence, now Rerun was this dude who. who they call him rerun because uh, you know, a lot of people because like a lot of people remind me of Fred Barry from What's Happening. But rerun, and he was and he used to hang around with the mob. He used to hang around with the mob back then. I haven't, I haven't heard from him in a while since he moved to Connecticut. I hope all's well with him. Anyway, he got he commented saying like, commented, if New York sucks, then why'd you come down here? And the kid said, "The kid says, uh, Boston sucks even worse." I don't get it. Well, whatever. But that's I'm just pointing that out. So, I mean, every I could I don't care about like these uh, petty scene rivalries uh, if there was a rivalry. But and I remember I think after that SSD had uh, you know. Had the EP, the kids will have this AEP released, you know, as a co collaboration between Al's label, X Claim, and Discord Records. Yeah, Discord used to do a lot of splits back then. I thought that was a cool thing. And I remember years later, actually, I think after the show, you know, after the show, that's when John Watson rode on the monument in Tompkins Square Park. Out of town bands, remember where you are. And years later, somebody wrote in the bathroom of uh, Niagara the same thing on the wall. Out of town people, remember where you are. Would that be yeah? When A Seven became Niagara, Jesse Mallon's uh, uh, bar. <laughs> one day, uh, one day I'll do a story about A Seven itself. One day. As a topic, well, like so, so talking about some of these other clubs more than like the than these events that happen. Okay, so this equipment's acting pretty funky tonight, so I'll just say so. I'm doing the best I can here with this. Now, years later. The SSD control kids will have their say EP was released as a boot and and the label on there was EX claim and uh, and they changed the logo for and they changed discord into discord about the H and the D I S C O R D. 
Now, somebody was asking me, uh, was asking me if I saw we were talking about it. I was talking about with, with some friends one day outside of CBGBs. This was like in the late 1980s. And somebody was asking me, oh, did you buy the bootleg? I says, no, I got the original. I don't need the bootleg. Uh, what the banning and no money out of, banning and no money out of that so why should I why should I support that so basically that's about it I just want to talk about that SSD's first uh, New York City appearance and now there was something there was, now somebody now now what was it now, what's it going to say? All right. Now, somebody has some questions, but I could use those as probably future topics. So, this way I don't... Uh, so this way I can have a little more research on answers. Anyway, that's about it for tonight. See you next time. Support the channel. Also, we got... Also, we got shirts for sale. Please smash that like button and subscribe for more Tommy Rat New York Hardcore stories. Thank you for watching.